One of my favorite things to have at a tailgating party is barbecue ribs, but when I'm home gating, I wanna do ribs at home. I'm gonna show you how to do barbecue country style short ribs with a dried cherry coleslaw. And this is how it works. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get to our ribs. I'm using country style ribs. So a little bit of uh, olive oil over medium high heat. I'm gonna take my ribs and we're gonna sear them just on the outsides. Now we're gonna add just a touch of salt and pepper. I'm gonna let that sear on the outside to keep all that beautiful flavor on the inside. Now let's get to our barbecue. This is really, really simple. It's gonna be ketchup based. So we're gonna start with a good bit of ketchup. We're gonna add some smoked paprika. We're gonna add some chili powder. We're gonna add some paprika and some onion powder. We're also gonna add a bit of salt and pepper. Some whole grain mustard or stone ground mustard some Dr. Pepper. And some liquid smoke. Now if you want to, if you like a sweet sauce, you can also add a touch of agave. Whisk together so all the ingredients are incorporated evenly. We're gonna add a touch of chopped garlic to our ribs. Now this doesn't have to be super fine or minced, just a nice rough chop. So we're gonna flip our ribs over. And you can see they get nice and sear. We've got this beautiful uh, brown color. That's gonna sear all that flavor in. Now we're gonna add our chopped garlic. Let that cook just for a second. Now that our garlic is nice and toasty, we're gonna add our barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna add 75% of our sauce and save the other 25% to garnish with later. So add our sauce right over the top. Then we're gonna add one beer. Now this beer is gonna help create our braising liquid so that our ribs get nice and tender. You give this a nice stir, turn your heat down to medium, medium low. That garlic and that barbecue sauce, ooh, that's money. Now once we have our liquid, we don't want it to fully cover the ribs, just almost. And we're gonna pop a lid on the top and we're gonna let this go for two hours. So now we're gonna get to our coleslaw. All right, so our coleslaw is pretty simple. We've got some white cabbage. We're gonna cut it in half. And this is something I like to do. I like to cut it in half again and turn it on its side this way. We're just gonna go straight down to create a nice thin little julienne. And there's our white cabbage. We're also gonna do the same thing with some red cabbage. It's gonna give us a really nice change of color and make our coleslaw really beautiful. We're also gonna add some thinly sliced red onion. This is my favorite part. We're using some dried cherries. It's a rich, beautiful flavor. It adds a really interesting texture and sweetness to our coleslaw. Now I've got some red wine vinegar. And you can add as much or as little as you like. The more you add, uh, the more pickling effect you're gonna get. We're also gonna add a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and some Dr. Pepper. We're also gonna add some whole ground mustard, just like that. That's gonna add a nice zestiness to our coleslaw. So now give this a nice toss, and we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for as long as our ribs need to cook. All right, so it's been about two hours. Let's check on our ribs. Oh my goodness, they're looking so gorgeous. They're just starting to fall off the bone. Now remember when you're doing your home gating party to do this one first, so you have that two hours to make all the rest of your delicious dishes. All right, it's time to plate. Now I have my delicious coleslaw that's been in the fridge the whole time that my ribs have been cooking. So it's had a chance to pickle in that beautiful little vinaigrette. And then we're gonna add our ribs right over the top. As you can see, the ribs are starting to just fall to bits. They're so tender. And then we're gonna finish with our delicious barbecue sauce left over from our braising liquid. We'll just go right over the top like that. And now check this out, you can just see the meat just falls right off the bone. That is so tender. Let's take a bite. Mm-hmm. It is so good. Your guests are gonna love it. I have a lot of other dishes to make. But if you want this recipe and all the other recipes, make sure you go to homegating.eatholy.com. I gotta keep cooking.